Evil Morty, played by Justin Roiland, finally enacted his master plan, destroying the Citadel and breaking through the central finite curve in the jaw-dropping season finale of Rick and Morty's fifth season. The Irreverent Adult Swim series has now returned to pick up the pieces, but the showrunner has teased this isn't the end of the hero's most elusive foe. Dan Harmon has confirmed Evil Morty will eventually return to Rick and Morty, though Warren fans shouldn't expect an appearance during the current season. In last year's season finale, Morty's ingenious counterpart finally got his wish and broke through into a universe where his overbearing partner and grandfather may not be the smartest man. However, his plan caused untold destruction to the Citadel of Ricks, and grounded the dimension-hopping pair in their original universe at the start of Season 6. While Evil Morty is worlds away at this point, co-showrunner Dan confirmed Rick and Morty may have a chance to reunite with their foe and take their revenge in a future season. Evil Morty didn't destroy, the central finite curve. He pierced through it, right? He explained. He is on the other side of it. We will eventually see where he is. Maybe not season 6, though. Some fans assumed Evil Morty's story had been wrapped up after beating Rick and Morty in the Citadel, but his current whereabouts still remain a mystery. Once Rick gets his portal gun up and running again, he could eventually track down his nemesis to ensure he's unable to do any more damage to the multiverse. For now, though, there are plenty more interdimensional threats for the unconventional heroes to face over the course of the next season. While showrunners Dan and Justin have previously been reluctant to adhere their series to an overarching plot, recent seasons have seen a shift in the writer's approach. Dan told Decider, what I've learned to do is listen to the younger writers. It's been on the air for 10 years. Not a lot of episodes, but 10 years is a long time. Interview, insight, reaction, it means that some of these younger writers might almost say that they grew up watching the show. You can at least say that they are fans of the show, that they care about it, and that they're much more connected to the viewer than I am. I kind of take my cues from them now where I'm learning to do that. I trust them when they say, time to resolve this and this is what people care about. New showrunner for season 6 Scott Martyr also explained, we had a lot that we had to wrap up. And an episode that was able to do that as well as kick off a lot of cool new things in a really organic way, that really excited us. Although reactions to the series have fluctuated over the years, much of the fan base felt the latest season opener was a promising course correction. Now the animated sci-fi comedy has returned to its roots of cliffhangers, twists and season arcs, it may not be long before some familiar faces start to break through to Rick and Morty's current dimension. Rick and Morty Season 6 continues Sundays on Adult Swim. Seasons 1 to 5 are available to stream on Netflix.